let's set up the championship matches at 189 pounds. In Class A, Paul Castle of Lincoln Pius will face Dean Gorsuch of Alliance. In Class B, Sean Church of Lexington meets Wade Heine of Centennial. In Class C, Chris Leisinger of Pender meets Chad Wallace of Gordon. In Class D, it's Wen Fangmeyer of Hebron taking on Cleet Shear of Sand Hill. Paul Castle in, uh, from Lincoln Pius in Class A is trying to become the first wrestler from that school since 1979 to win a state title. Kent Rosberg won the gold medal that year, and Castle, that's a long dry spell for the for Lincoln Pius or the Thunderbolts. Paul Castle was a great football player, just an outstanding running back, and now trying to add state championship in wrestling. Had over 1,900 yards rushing. That's incredible. We've got uh, four undefeated wrestlers in this weight class. In Class B, Sean Church is unbeaten for Lexington. Uh, two unbeatens in Class C, Chris Leisinger of Penger and Chad Wallace of Gordon are both unbeaten. And Chris Cleet Shear of Sandhills is unbeaten. In, uh, he's a sophomore. Wynn Fangmeyer in Class D from Hebron. His dad, Mike, was a two-time champion for Hebron in, I think, 69 and 70. And you see uh, Sean Church out to a two-to-one lead already for Lexington over Wade Heine of Centennial in Class B. In Class D, He's Cleet Shear of Sandhills has taken a 2-0 lead over Wynn Fangmeyer. And a 2 to nothing lead in Class A. In Class... For Paul Castle of Pius, like you said, trying to become the first state champ for Pius in the last 19 years. And now we have a takedown in Class C. As they're catching up a little bit, it looks like Chad Wallace, the unbeaten senior from Gordon, jumps out ahead of Chris Leisinger, the unbeaten senior from Pender. So we got 2-0 scores all the way around, but now we've got an escape in Class B. So Sean Church now leads 2-1 over Wade Heine of Centennial. Sean Church trying to, to cap off a perfect 30-0 season with a state title. He was first last year. He's the returning state champ. I know he's got some sentimental reasons. He lost his father a few months back, and he'd probably like to win another state title. And, Paul Castle going to work on Dean Gor Gorsuch of Alliance. Chad Wallace got the takedown in Class C over Chris Leisinger of Wa Pender. Wallace now trying to get uh, Leisinger in trouble. Wallace going to turn him over, at least get a couple out of it. The fans are going to get used to seeing those bumblebee striped Gordon singlets because they got three <laughs> of them in a row from here on out. And it's now 4 nothing lead for Chad Wallace of Gordon over Chris Leisinger. In Class D, it's still a 2-0 lead for Cleet Shear of Sandhills over Wynn Fangmeyer of Hebron. Sean Church of Lexington now leads it 6-2 over Wade Heine of Centennial. And Paul Castle with a 2-0 lead over Dean Gorsuch of Alliance. And Sean Church, unbeaten senior, won the championship a year ago. He placed fourth two years ago. And he is a very sound wrestler. I believe uh, he had a cousin that was a three-time state champ. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, from Clarks. He and Heine have met each other, but it was two years ago. Sean Church coming out the victor then. And again, it looks like Chad Wallace getting Chris Leisinger in trouble. Wallace has got him on the back, going for the pin. And he's got a four lot to nothing. of time. He's got it. Oh. <laughs> Not Chad able to Leisinger do it. Able to, able to slip out. But that gives him a 7 to nothing lead. And uh, I tell you, it's amazing. You know, again, Leisinger's unbeaten, but uh, Wallace not showing a lot of respect. And, you know, Leisinger actually beat the number one ranked wrestler, Justin Burrish, or Raymond Central, was number one ranked coming in. Leisinger beat him in the semis 6-4. to four, But Wallace has had know, a couple I'd, of pins and won 22 to 6. I'd, I'd have to say the only reason that, that uh, Wallace wasn't ranked number one is because he didn't have a chance to see everybody because I've seen him a few times this year, and I've been very impressed with him. Leisinger, on the other hand, missed half the season with a broken foot, so very impressive for him just to make it to the finals We're in a short season. In Class D, it's still 2 to nothing. Cleet Shear of Sand Hills leading Wynn Fangmeyer of Hebron. In Class B, it's a 6-2 lead for Sean Church of Lexington over Wade Heine of um, Centennial. And in Class A, Paul Castle holding on to a 3 to nothing lead there. And, and Chad Wallace has got Chad, Chris Leisinger in trouble again. And he's got 30 seconds to go here. 
How many pin combinations does Wallace have That's in his about repertoire? The third or fourth one in this match. He has really got a lot of combinations he's been using. Very talented wrestler. Again, a couple of seniors there. In fact, uh, we've got all well, we've got all seniors except in Class D, where Win Fangmeyer is a junior and Cleet Shear is a sophomore. The rest are all seniors. Well, like you pointed out earlier, in these upper weights, we're going to see a lot more of the upperclassmen. There's and another takedown for Paul Castle in Class A of Pius the Tenth. And Castle goes up five to nothing over Dean Gorsuch of Alliance. Gorsuch ranked number two coming in, 31 and two. So Castle. Doing very well there. There's an escape for Win Fangmeyer of Hebron. Makes the score two to one. He's doing, doing his best leading. to become the third title holder for Hebron today. It's now eight to three in Class B. Sean Church with the lead. In Class A, it's 5-0. And in Class C, it's a 10-0 lead now for Chad Wallace of Gordon over Chris Leisinger of Pender. These two in Class D are very evenly matched. Last year, Cleet Shear beat Fangmeyer in overtime. Cleet Shear pinned all of his opponents on the way to the finals. Both of these wrestlers, neither one of them has placed here before, and they're both in the finals. They both qualified, but they both end up in the finals this year. What a thrill that must be, though, to be a father who won a state title like Mike Fang Fangmeyer did and have your son in the state championship. That It's got to be a thrill for him. It's still... Uh, 10 to 4 now in Class B, Sean Church. Looking for his second state title. We've got an injury time in, in Class A. It's Paul. 10 to nothing in Class C with uh, Chad Wallace of Gordon with that lead. Wallace has really looked good. And now, well, just a lot of rolling around there. I thought we were going to have a possible near fall. I nope. tell you what, Sean Church means business. He has got some intensity on his face. It's three to one in Clash D. Cleet Shear of Sand Hills leading Win Fangmeyer now. I don't think anybody'd stop Sean Church from winning this state title. Right now, Fangmeyer needs a takedown to try to tie it up. We're in the third period with a minute 30 to go in Class D. Ball Castle still holding on to a five to nothing lead as we're getting ready to start the third period in Class A. Wrestling against Dean Gorsuch of Alliance. Gorsuch, a three-time qualifier, never placed before this year. He's gonna. Take a medal home this tonight. I think the first time this afternoon, all four matches are about the same place time-wise in the match. They're pretty close. Most of the time this afternoon, they've gotten ahead of each other. But these are all going to be bang-bang finishes. And there's an, another takedown for Paul Castle. He's really going to work now. He leads 7-1 to one I think, in that uh, Class A match. I don't know if it was uh, for certain, but he had talked about walking on for football at the University of Nebraska next year. Certainly would be a fine addition if he, that, if he decides that. And there's Wallace trying to get another takedown, but uh, not able to finish there. He's still, he's still in on it. He yep. hasn't given up, and there he does finish it. And he'll go up 12-0 now with 44 seconds to go in that match. It's now 3-2 in Class D. Cleet Shear of Sandhills leading Win Fangmeyer with 33 seconds to go in that match. So Fangmeyer will have to uh, hustle to get a takedown now. As uh, Shear just trying to hang on with a one-point lead, 23 seconds and counting. Fangmeyer. John, John Church now out in front, 12 to four in Class B. So really the only tight match is here in Class D with 13 seconds to go. Fangmeyer will have to hurry, 11, 10 and counting. And he's about out of time now. Took a last attempt. He's in on the leg. He'll have to hurry. Down to two seconds. One second. He won't get it. Oh, my goodness. Just so close. out of time. Cleet Shears' early points were enough, and he leads, and he wins it three to two. So tough loss for Fangmeyer. They'll both be back next year. Cleet Shear able to keep that 28-0 record unblemished. Chad Wallace. Well, Off to a commanding lead in Class C, 12 to 1, over well, Chris Leisinger of Pender. And we're uh, about 30 seconds to go in the remaining matches. As again, they were all pretty even time-wise. And Wallace trying to go for another takedown. One thing yeah, that I notice about Chad Wallace is he's got some really nice leg attacks for a big guy. Uh-oh. <laughs> A strong, <laughs> strong headlock attempt by Chris Leisinger, but Wallace able to hold it off. So Leisinger will suffer his first defeat of the year, but to an outstanding wrestler in Chad Wallace, he's going to win this one 12 to 1. 
And he is your state champion in Class C, Chad Wallace of Gordon. In Class A, Paul Castle trying to finish out the last 30 seconds. In Class B, your state champion is Sean Church from Lexington. As he wins it, we didn't get the final score. They took it off right away, but he won it handily. Nice going for Sean Church. So all that's left is Class A, Paul Castle. And he's leading, I believe, 9-1. Possibly nine to two. We can't see it. The coaches are in front of the scoreboard. Nine to two so in favor of Paul Castle. With seven seconds to go. So Paul Castle is going to be a state champion. And the fans at the Lincoln Pass will be happy to have a state championship again for the Thunderbolts. And you can hear and some Pius fans <laughs> behind us. There's definitely a, a strong following there. Boy, Castle has been such a good athlete for him. As uh, you mentioned earlier, his dad was a state champion. He has some cousins uh, from East Butler that were state champions, and now he has his own state championship. So we've crowned the champions now at 189 pounds. A very happy Paul Castle. He was fifth the last two years. It's, uh, it's amazing that he uh, only finished fifth as good a, as he has looked this year, but he is a state champion. Ted Wotelski, his coach. Believe it or not, I coached Ted in midget football. <laughs> See, it kind of dates me a that little bit. really dates you. <laughs> uh, Ted, is, Ted has done a marvelous job at Lincoln Pies. In fact, you kind of see the tears coming from Ted Wotelski. Here's the results now at 189 pounds in Class A. Paul Castle of Lincoln Pies, a 9-2 victor over Dean Gorsuch of Alliance. In Class B, Sean Church of Lexington wins it by a final of 12-5. to in Class C, your champion, Chad Wallace of Gordon, a 12-1 winner over Chris Leisinger. And in Class D, Cleet Shear of Sandhills holds on to a 3-2 victory over Wim Fangmeyer of Hebron.